Kent, today we talk about copper and iron. What's the proper level of copper or iron in a swimming pool? Zero. That's a good number, huh? That's right. We don't want any of it? <laughs> Not really. So what happens if we, um, say, have some copper and iron in the pool? What's a typical reaction for the pool water? How would a uh, customer know? Well, once you put chlorine in, usually there's a reaction that turns your water like a milky white, a green, a brown, something not very pleasant. Yeah, unfortunately. And over here in uh, New Hampshire, we see a lot of what? Manganese. Yeah, that's a culprit here. All the time. So we'll see sometimes, say we drain the pool because of the winter time, you're down about a foot because you pumped your cover off. Yep. They're on a well, customer's on a well, fills the pool back up, adds some shock. Bingo. Turns all kinds of funky colors. What could we have done instead of doing that? Well, we probably should have used a pre-filter. Right. Nice catch. Something yeah. like this guy that can go on the end of your garden hose. And that's going to take care of most of the minerals you're introducing into your pool. And then I'd probably couple that with a stain scale control, like a key troll or pool magnet plus afterwards, just to filter out whatever could remain. And uh, hold off on the shock. Uh, For sure. Let's yeah. wait until we get the minerals taken care of. D filter help you with that situation? Big help. Goes down to one to three microns. Grab some of those minerals out of your water. I think we did a good job on that one, Ken. Yeah, we did.